Hey everybody, this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. And this video is about what causes arthritis. There's two different kinds of arthritis, and they each have different causes. So as you know, there are two different kinds of arthritis. There's osteoarthritis, and there's rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis being a general term for any of the autoimmune arthritis. So osteoarthritis is bone on bone grinding, and rheumatoid arthritis is inflammation of a joint from the body essentially attacking itself. Both are reversible, but you need to know why you have what you have, and then you can figure out how to get rid of it. So let's look at the causes. So osteoporosis is caused by compression of the joints. I'm going to expand on that. So I should also say that for both of these kinds of arthritis, osteo and rheumatoid arthritis, you can have it in the wrists, in the fingers, in the elbow, shoulder joints, hips, knees, feet, toes, etc. Neck. Essentially, if you have a joint, you can have either osteoarthritis and or rheumatoid arthritis. So let me clean those up real quick. Okay, back to what causes osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is caused by compression compression of the joints. Well, that's neat to know, but what causes the compression? Compression is really just a symptom of a larger dynamic. So I'm going to assert that osteoarthritis is caused by the tendonitis dynamic. Regardless of what you want to call it, the factors are the same. The tendonitis dynamic is a multi-factored dynamic made up of three primary factors. The first is muscle and connective tissue tightness, inflammation process, and nutritional nutri nutritional insufficiency. Long story short, muscle and connective tissue tightness and inflammation and nutritional insufficiency, they all work together they all feed on each other and they cause muscles to get tight and stay tight. And when muscles get tight, they compress joints. And then your joint is compressed and every step you take or every time you reach for a glass of water, those joints are grinding on themselves because the muscles are constantly 24 seven keeping them tight. So long story short, osteoarthritis is caused by compression. Compression is caused by tightness. And then really these factors create and keep tightness in play and make it worse as the tightness gets worse. So that's osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is caused by something else entirely, which isn't to say that these three factors don't develop and happen. They certainly do. And then you kind of have to deal with those first. But if you have rheumatoid arthritis and you deal with these factors, you're still going to have the cause of the rheumatoid arthritis. These sort of show up later in response to what's going on. So rheumatoid arthritis, long story short, is caused by an autoimmune do, 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 an autoimmune response in the body. I'm an awesome artist, by the way. So essentially, that's caused by a bad gut ecology. In all your little guts and stomach and intestine, etc., there's an ecology in play. And when that ecology isn't working very well, you get a lot of inflammation. And inflammation damages the gut and the gut lining. And then little proteins sneak through, little particles of what you eat sneak through in the bloodstream, go out into the body, and then your immune system attacks them. And long story short, it just keeps attacking them. So what that means ultimately is that you can get all sorts of symptoms, including joint pain, joint irritation, joint damage, joint deformation, because your immune system is actively attacking the tissue. Now, all doctors really have for that is drugs, which doesn't affect the causes at all. And since it can't fix the problem at all, that means a lifetime of drugs just to suppress symptoms while the causes get worse. Ultimately, rheumatoid arthritis is caused by inflammatory agents 
and lack of nutrition. Your body attacks what leaks out, and it's a problem. Until you deal with that, it's only going to either maintain at best or continue to get worse, even if you're suppressing the symptoms with drugs. But that's another topic. So, osteoarthritis is caused by compression, and there's reasons why that compression happens. And rheumatoid arthritis is caused by a damaged gut ecology, and there's reasons for that as well. Let's take another look at that. So, osteoarthritis, muscles in the leg, cross the joint and attach. Long story short, these muscles get tight and they pull on their attachments this way. And so you can see how that would compress the knee joint. So you're walking, you're standing, you're doing sports, you're sitting at work, and these muscles are too short. They're pulling the joint this way it's compressing the joint, the joint is grinding on itself. You go for a walk, the joint is grinding on itself. You walk upstairs, the joint is grinding on itself. You sit down in your chair at work, the joint grinds on itself. Eventually that causes inflammation, that causes pain, and both of those not only use up more nutrition, but they create more tightness. So then, more pulling this way, more compression. Just kind of feeds on itself, more tightness, more compression, more pain, more tightness, more compression, more pain. Ouch. That's how osteoarthritis works in there. Rheumatoid arthritis, pretending we're talking about the knee, doesn't necessarily, well, it doesn't come from that direction. Although, again, you can still get tightness, and you will. When the joint hurts, muscles will tighten up, and then they're going to pull on it. But the cause is a damaged gut ecology. So now your immune system is on the hunt. I don't know what this line means, but let's just say it's little attackers. It's your immune system. And for some reason, they think that there's a problem in your joint. So they attack, they attack, they attack. They, that causes inflammation. Eventually, inflammation causes damage of the joint lining. Combined with things get tight to guard and protect. Get some compression in there, which adds to the irritation and inflammation. More inflammation, more inflammation, more inflammation. Damage of the joint. Pain. Again, you'll notice that more pain equals more pain equals more pain equals more problem. Again, drugs aren't a fix for that. The only way to fix this dynamic is to stop the attackers. The only way to stop the attackers is to fix the damaged gut. Fix the problem at its source. Your knee pain or your finger pain is not the source of your rheumatoid arthritis problem. The source of your rheumatoid arthritis problems is systemic, and it stems from damaged gut ecology. If you'd like to find out more about what causes arthritis, visit my website, tendonitisexpert.com, backslash what-causes-arthritis.html, and there's a link to that page below the video.